I don't know, I'm getting boom boomed. Just his head isn't real. Let's play Carney Carnage. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, good jump. just wanted to have a look and see where the platform is. It looks like it's fine. I wasn't sure if we had to ride it for multiple bounces or anything. Alright, so we can just kind of tap it on the way over. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah sick. Alright. Uh, damn. Right, that's a, that's a yellow guy. Yellow guys walk off edges, don't they? And if if that's uh well they think about walking towards Mario periodically. They will yeah, they'll march off a ledge. Also, I didn't realise that spike was there. Alright. There, there. Just go. Alright, sick. Sick, mate, sick. Uh, there's a wall there. Aim for the mushroom. Not bad. Good choice. <laughs> well, I need to. Oh, I got a damage boost longer. All right. Oh, I wasn't holding it. That time I was grabbing it, but I was reluctant. No, why, dude, why does that happen? I was holding the shell. Why does, why is that considered like a bonk? Is that tech? Or what if I throw it, if I can somehow line it up so I can throw it before. I don't know. Uh, that's okay, that's the trick. You throw it before you grow up and then you're not gonna get janked. Or yeah, that move at the end was weird, but I think there's weird tech with like throwing a shell when you like releasing Y when you're holding a shell when you are in power up grow up. The shell goes down, it's like you bonk it. Gloom gaze. Oh we got this oh no. Data Burst, it's by Celica. Yeah. I have not played it, I've seen it. Again, it's one of those things that looks really cool, but I don't think I would play it because it doesn't look uh, readable at all. It's one of those things that you just gotta play and it probably looks cool and feels cool once you spend a few hours figuring out what's gonna load in on the screen. I'm sorry if that sounds negative. That's what it seems like. It's just an extremely cool level. Some of us just want to make the plumber jump into things we can see. Wait, did I just die somehow? What happened? Oh. Uh. uh Psychosomatic. Can I go through that? I guess you can. Alright, cool. Oh, then down underneath. All right. Cool. Take it easy, young short. Hope you have a good day.
Clock time. Carnival zone complete. Uh, what, they tried to say Mario's not a plumber? Why, why would they say that? Alright, so that's all the zones done. I think we can start heading up now. Alright, the floor is lava. This is apparently the switch check, where we get checked that we've done all the stuff. Like we needed to get them to get here. Alright. Oh. Well, it's already something, huh? Oh yeah, low bounce, I see. Like there. And then, yeah, follow it. Okay, might need some trust to get through this one. Sort of a hold right affair for a little bit. Uh, and then what would I shell jump off? Assuming, I guess the right thing, thing on the right should be solid, hopefully. There's something about the background that's distracting me. I don't know what it is. I think it's the, oh yeah, okay, it's the scrolling. I'm just noticing now the lack thereof. H. I don't know why that terrain is there. Yeah, then we can make it. And we get a shell in the hand. Here we are, Jank Pickle. Thank you so much for the raid. My goodness, I, uh, <laughs> the uh, the zero percent. It's a hell of a project, and I wish you the best of luck. But I know that it's a nasty level. I've uh, seen enough of it. Fish. We're gonna play the next one. It's called Carcass March. We're in the sort of final zone of this hack. We've got a few levels left to go. What does this mean? It uh, means there's a bad thing there. All right. And that thwomp is clearly going to go to the left, so we've got to get in there and jump. Maybe I will just try a full spin, just just YOLO. It's, it's totally a full spin. All right. Easy. Uh, Kaiser block and a dude falls, so we're gonna have to re-grab off, all right. About 21, all right, so there's heaps to go. There's 28 exits in this bad boy. So there, there, there. Re-grab, ah, see, all right, that's the midway. It's a Zed. Damn, young short welcome in. You came in hot today. Ooh. Uh, what is this? Back shot out of a two tile. Jesus, dude. I don't know if that's infamous. It's kind of wild. I'm so stupid, dude. Like, why would I think that I should land on the Eerie? You just go over. You just go over, dude. We'll be fine. Curious what the remainder of the level. It seems like this final zone is like really long. I think that most of the other zones didn't have like that many levels. They're like five, maybe five levels or something. Five or six each. Fish. All right, the flames of judgment. LTG, welcome in. It's a big potaboo. What if I spin? You can spin on them, but you get up sprited if you do that. All right. <clears throat> you found out you don't really get cape tech. Damn. Sorry to hear that, pity. <laughs> it's a uh, it's its own special brand of uh, of S and W, I think. So, like, 
there's a timing where we can do that. No, I, 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 I'm not. That's not working for me. Maybe there's there's a go fast strat with the falling flame. It's the only option, huh? Just YOLO and then you do it. All right. Uh, I should probably, I wonder if I should build up P-Speed or something before I get there. Alright, we gotta immediately jump to the right. Damn, that's a really tight jump, especially given the spike hitbox. a block. The thrill of competition. Oh, if I wanted competition I'd play competitive games. Um, that's all. Bon 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 bonjour DRK. Kaka ki ka kuke. Coco cake. That's spin, you know, because you jump out and then something hits you that is not normal jumpable. And it depends of the hack, probably. There we go. Fish. Oh, we're inching up this tower. So much to go. Angler's Keep. Fish? Oh, we're swimming. Uh, blooper. I'm gonna make some bloopers today. I don't know what the hitbox is of those, but I'm keeping a very wide berth on them. Wait, what is that? That means it explodes, alright. That's gonna explode you too? No, it won't. Oh, that's why that's an explodey too. Oh my goodness. All right. Got the exit option when you're water level. It's going to happen a lot. Fish bomb. It's learning the sprites day. Alright. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to... It's probably hard to make a good water level. I, I tried once and I didn't like it, so I just got rid of it. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's the angler we were promised. So how does that work? Seems like it only has two speeds, an up speed and a down speed. It, uh, it doesn't uh, have like an acceleration between up and down. Oh my God, are you coming? wasn't too bad. It was fine. That was Denise. Denise the anglerfish. Oh, sorry Denise, you had to go. It's all crazy.
Spawning that too early. Alright. We'll do that. It's still a big boy route. Oh god, two framer? Or maybe we just don't land on that. See if I can jump over it actually. Oops. Pencil, checkpoint, solid reads, ah, it's just readable. If I, if I do solid reads, it's, uh, wait, what the hell is that? It's because the level is letting me do it. Sometimes I have bad level, bad reads in a level. Ah, oh, oh. Alright, why don't we just do a normal shell jump? Just a, just a left shell jump. It's a Squidward Boo. Oh, okay, something comes out there. Springboard. Oh, you can't touch it. Alright, alright, alright. Now we know that you're not allowed to touch that Boo as well. I was gonna try something cheeky. But if you know, you know. If you don't, it might look stupid. Oh, yep, yep. Should have been a holding jump. Alright, there's a saw that comes off the screen when you get there. I wonder if that changes the timing of the boost significantly by hitting it that late. Seems like it's less tight now. Bad for now, handsome boo. It's all false. It's the next level. What does it mean? What is this? Ceiling dude. And then that turns those blocks off. There's a bit of trial and error. Alright, well, no stranger to that. So I think we want to keep going there, actually. Okay, and those blocks break. I thought the, the shell was like a pace thing. It's like, how do I stomp it? It's a, it's got a one on it too, which is good. But. Um, there's a lot of there's stuff in the way there though. If I had to give an award for like best Twitch chatter, it'd be Pixel. In before source pipes up and is like, why not me? Oh, I got lucky. I'd rather be lucky than good. Oh, I crushed that first half. I got lucky. You saw, you saw how lucky I got. Should have died to the ball and chain. So then... And just, just chuck it or something, I don't know. People have been struggling to read this bucket. It's a bucket? Damn. Oh, yeah, okay, so like... I mean, there I threw it and it, it hit the um, hit the the pink triangle first. 
Which is not ideal. It should hit the wall first. I'm thinking. Like that. And then I guess something falls down out of the ceiling if we spend enough time there. Okay, now just uh, bump it forward. Alright, a bit more. I don't, I don't rage much. I, I kind of seethe. Okay, I've got I've got to have the on off on screen. That's what's going wrong. You got to you got to be patient, dude. If you're gonna like play Super Mario World Kaiser ROM hacks on stream, you know, first play them on stream where you don't know what to do. You're gonna have to develop a good amount of like patience, right? Dude, if I if I got mad when I die in a Kaizo game, I would have quit after like the first you know three days. People that don't play fan games, people that play like normal games that are made by like game studios or whatever, and they'll like get mad and they'll like rage about like, oh this game sucks or whatever, and they're kind of just like you know, they're probably not offending anyone. These kinds of things that are just you know a solo project that's made just for fun, so it's probably going to hurt a lot more. <laughs> the point is you probably shouldn't do that at all, but I think that people get away with with developing that behaviour by like talking trash about, you know, AAA titles that get released. That's that's kind of where I was where I was getting at. Is it you know people they're streaming stuff, they're playing a game and they die and they call the game trash or whatever and they bring that into like a fan game kind of scene. Yeah, I'm not like on my high horse about it either. I feel like I've devolved into things like that in the past as well. Which is why I'm trying to be better about it. Uh, ambivalence killed your dog. I'm sorry about that. Should have put a warning on it that said not to feed to pets. It was not designed for animals. Just things that people wanted me. They just wanted me to play annoying stuff. Not fun things that I might enjoy. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with me? Um... Oh my god, it lined up perfectly. That I didn't necessarily request, or didn't have a problem with, that I saw nerfed in the final version as well, and I think it was, it was all the better for it. it was, uh, some, there was something in Potter Walks um, that, was, that was nerfed a bit in the first half, I think. Um, that I was happy to see. Bish. Alright, I spent a little bit of time in that level, but we were having a good conversation, so I didn't feel like I was stuck. It was a tough level. The, um, the disc, uh, sorry, the, the four bounce bucket thing, lining up with the, um, forward bump, um, was, um, was kind of tough in that second half. Alright, we're gonna play the next one. It's all a dream. What are we doing in this one? It's a giant saw blade that clips into the wall a lot. All right. Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, do I just run off that? Like that, yeah, all right. And what happens? And just, uh, just chuck it and go. Don't kill me. It was all a dream after all. And then uh, we swim in the water. Under uh, sideways. Oh, it's fast. Okay, it's got a. You you ran it. Hell yeah. Amper, thank you. Almost <laughs> smoked fish and cabbage. You ran it, damn. Alright. Oh. Uh oh, Amp is helping Source? What's going on? Oh, it's tight. Uh... 
there's going to be a new alignment somewhere. Uh, 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 nope. Maybe this time. Nope. <laughs> oh, we just got to wait. It's going to line up. Oh. Yeah, I know the H is right there. I just gotta wait for the um the lineup. Yes. Um Okay. I think something's gonna spawn this time. Ah, look at that, something did spawn. Vertical levels, uh, sometimes weird things happen. It's totally fine. Alright, it's fine. Alright, cool. I thought that was going to be a fast thwomp. Also, it sticks to the wall. Uh, same, same dealio here? Oh, well, it's just gonna be, uh, okay, I should use the wall a bit further over. And then I gotta, like, go out to the right, touch the wall. I don't know. Uh, so I can use, no, I can't use, oh, I could. Yeah, I could do that. Alright. There was a wall that was, oh, okay, the hitbox and those, so I gotta, I gotta. Got it. All right, so we rub against the right wall on the jump up, and then you get the, the line up. That's the trick there. All right. Oh my God. He's, uh, he's already mega fast off the start. Yeah, I'm kind of, you gotta like land on his stomach. I think that's the trick. Alright. I know, I'm getting boom boomed. Just, his head isn't real. You gotta, you just aim for the top of the, the shell part. Thank you, thank you Noah for the five bits and it sounds like an amazing collection you have. Fish. It's all right. Quindecillion six hundred and fifty five. What you order Cillion five hundred and ninety three three decillion seven hundred and forty eight. You owe decillion two hundred money. You mentioned in the readme that you're safe from the blocks under the ceiling. Okay. Uh, this is a ceiling. Not safe from the hand though. Or something, that's fine. Oh, that's right, the hand. Just wait for hand. Oh, the fire is still coming. I'm not even I can't see. Let me just chill here, alright. Oh, 
Alright, so what's the what's the next thing? Oh, there's just some ground there. Alright. Oh. Just gotta find a, an opening. I just, I, I just... So what is that? What, is that a 1F0 or...? Expertise. So wait, what is what is this? I don't understand. I guess I guess so I don't think I can bounce high enough. I think we gotta do a pickup on it. How come sometimes the falling rocks hurt you? The falling rocks will hurt you if you aren't underneath a ceiling. I can't understand what we're doing here. It's just a, a lot of things. We've got the falling hand, we've got the fireball shooting, we've got the thwomp, we've got the key. Oh my god. There's more. so much more. What the hell is wrong with me, dude? I'm gonna do that one consistently. One, two, three, go. But, oh, okay, one, mm. That's a concern. That one's happened twice. More than twice. Oh, I think I can beat that one down. Maybe. It was too late. No, that was fine. That was different. We didn't get a triple. Oh my god. One, two... so much fish I didn't trust I thought there might have been a Kaiser block over that last pit so I backed up it better not have been credits time yikes man smoke fish and cabbage three that was it. Thanks so much for playing and staying patient with you. Look, it's, if I'm anything, it's patient most of the time. You think a Kaizo block would have been cruel there? Good. There we go. That was uh, Smoked Fish and Cabbage 3. The, uh, the levels are pretty cool. No real complaints or concerns. There might have been like two or three sections within the other 27 levels that were kind of tough to sort of work out or get consistent at or just figure out what to do. But damn, that last room was super hard. I'm not sure how everyone else does it, but it really is just a case of working out how to maintain a consistent pace with regards to the camera and when to jump and being able to identify what kind of pace you're on. 
because the falling rocks aren't random. They have the same pattern, but they're relative to the camera. So you do have to, you do have to really sit there and work it out for a section of that length. But we got it done. It does, it does take a lot of trial and error and a lot of planning. Yeah, here's your, here's your special thanks to the cool crew. Um, it was a cool hack, definitely a, 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 quite a step up from uh, Smoked Fish and Cabbage 2. Especially that last level. If someone played this hack and just pieced out and noped out on the last level, I would respect that because it's really tough in my opinion. And you can still have a lot of fun by just playing the rest of the levels as well. Uh, I didn't press anything, but the credits finished before the uh, before the final, or at least I assumed the final thing came up. I'm just off screen? Am I? Oh, I'm this guy. Oh, I had no idea. And this was presented by Let's Talk Games. GG. Thank you so much. You thought it'd be cool to see how people approach the zones? Yeah, I do like that you do have the option of, of tackling it in a different order. But that, um, yeah, the fact that, like, it's not just, you know, go up or left or right or down or whatever. Just the fact that they also connect in a circular fashion as well. Um, so that when you complete this one, you just go down and then you just head up and you do the next one. And there's a whole little sort of sub area there. And then you, you head over and... I'm not sure if you put heaps of thought into it, but it worked out really well. It was not a confusing overworld, and I think that someone could have tried to execute this idea in a way that ended up being confusing as far as what had been completed or not completed. But this game has a lot to offer, and I don't think you miss too much if you just feel frustrated at the last level. So.